from the mind of Mark Yoshimoto Nemkov. So this is my DIY sphere mic that I built with a pair of Alice circuits, an M7 capsule, and this swanky U47 style body. And overall, I think as a dual output sphere style microphone, it works great. You're listening to it through the UAD Neve 1084 and Cvox, uh, courtesy of the Apollo Twin that I've exiled from the booth. And overall, I think this, uh, I think the result, uh, the sound is really good. I would really, I would use this. Now, does it sound like a 47? I don't know. Does it sound like the Ocean Way 47 that it's trying to model? I don't know. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care that it sounds like another mic. I just care what it sounds like. Is this a usable sound for voiceover? Yes, it is. So, um, I'm pretty pleased with it. And over here, right? Hold on. Let me pull this thing out of the shock mount. So over here is another sphere mic that I built. A second one using the same exact set of circuits, Alice uh, circuits, same capsule, different body. So this is the Arrogant Bastard mic, which has been on the channel a couple of times before, but I've never had a circuit in here that I really liked. So we're going we're gonna to actually go head to head with these. I've never actually compared them head to head. So this is going to be a first. You're going to get my genuine reaction to this. So again, you can see this is a much smaller microphone right thinner microphone smaller head basket this has like a c12 style head basket this has a 47 style head basket so um let's uh let's see how the bastard sounds okay right away you can hear how much tighter and punchier the uh arrogant bastard mic sounds it um it definitely has a leaner uh, meaner capture to it. it it doesn't sound like a 47 anymore it almost actually it almost actually has more of an 87 ish kind of thing to it it feels like it punches a little bit higher up in the mids um overall right i think this works i like the variation between this and the 47 style body but what you're really hearing here what you're hearing without a doubt between these two microphones is the difference in the the shape of the head basket now, again, like we found with the DLX and the, um, the L22 slash DLX and uh, the LX sphere mics, is that the smaller head basket results in a tighter, um, more punchier capture. So it sounds a little bit, it sounds a little bit, um, you know, less resonant. And that, I think that's the best way to explain it, really. The larger head basket of a 47 is really like the acoustics of a room. A larger room is going to yield more reflections in there. So this is a smaller head basket, less reflections, tighter sound, almost a cleaner sound. So um, this really works. I'm actually very pleased with this because I, I wasn't really sure how well this would work. But again, same circuit, same uh, capsule and a different tighter punchier sound because it's a smaller smaller body so uh yeah all right so let's go back to the um so this is the arrogant bastard let's go back to the uh the fat bastard not me this one so uh hold on all right so back on this you can definitely hear it has more girth to it not only does it have more girth to it but it almost i don't want to say it, it feels less detailed but it it feels a little bit rounder right overall it, it doesn't feel as as punchy but I like this. It feels bigger. So, um, and again, it's really, it's the same, again, same capsule, same circuit. It's the head basket that's making all the difference. So I think between these two, you, you get a really good spread of different tonalities that you can pull off using the Sphere plugin. And look, I'm not going to, I'm not going to go into detailed uh, instructions how to build something like this. And if you if you haven't done mic DIY, then you should not go anywhere near a project like this. But if you're savvy enough to understand what I'm saying by using a dual Alice circuit, two different Alice circuits, and a dual sided capsule, and then you you basically you attach each side of the capsule independently to each circuit, right? And then you wire that to a seven pin connector. You can find those wiring diagrams online for how to wire it like a sphere mic. And then you need a, a breakout cable like you get with the sphere and you can actually buy those. And uh, there you go. Plug it into the sphere plug-in, which uh, you can get for free actually, I think still. Um, but, uh, or you can buy it. Uh, but you know what? There is, a, there is a whole realm of possibility out there for DIYing your own sphere mic. And then being able to tap into the uh, Sphere library of tonalities to get uh, different cool sounds. And again, and it wasn't that expensive to do this. So um, I'm very pleased overall with the experiment. And you know what? These are actually going to get used. So 
What do you think? DIY sphere mics. Which one did you like better? Like, you know, I, I think they're, they're different enough. You don't really have to have a favorite. And of course, the 47 style body is just so sexy. I mean, really, come on. It looks, I mean, look, it looks cool on camera. I'm looking at the screen right now. I like the way it looks on camera. So it's an, it's an impressive looking body, right? This one's just for fun, but it turned out great. And, uh, and again, so uh, yeah, and the outside, the exterior of that, that's a beer can <laughs> that I had to cut very carefully and epoxy to the body. So uh, it's a beer can wrap on a sterling body with a aftermarket head basket. And this is just a body I bought on, uh, on AliExpress. So uh, yeah, let me know what you think. All right, Sphere DIY. Leave a comment. Until next time, this is Mark Yoshimoto Nemkov, Fading to Black.